Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dark Knight Studios coming at you with another one. This will be my predictions for this Sunday, November 22nd, the 2020 WWE Survivor Series pay-per-view, which basically there are no title matches. It's just a bunch of champions against champions. Let's start off. First, we have the 5-on-5 five -five Men's Survivor Series Elimination Match. We have Team Raw. With AJ Styles, Sheamus, Braun Strowman, Keith Lee, and Riddle, or Matt Riddle, whatever you want to call him, versus Team SmackDown, KO, Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, King Corbin, Seth Rollins, and a mystery person, which I'm going to lean with probably Big E. This one for me should be an easy one. I guess I say I'm rooting for Raw, Team Raw, because there's more superstars I like on there. Minus, not a big fan of Sheamus. Uh, and I fully predict Team Raw to win that one. I think this will be pretty much an all Raw winning. Next, we have the 5-on-5 five -five Women's Survivor Series Elimination Match. Team Raw, consisting of Raw Women's Tag Team Champion, or Raw Women's Tag Team, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Pardon me. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler teaming up with Lana, Lacey Evans, and Peyton Royce. This past Monday Night on Raw, Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce replaced Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke, which I think is a mistake because I'm really enjoying Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose as a team. They're both beautiful women. You know, Dana Brooke has really improved in the ring, I will say that. She has really greatly improved, and Mandy Rose is pretty good in her own right. I think it was a big mistake replacing... Then with Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce. Then they have Team SmackDown, which consists of Bianca Belair and both members of the Riot Squad, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and two women that we don't know yet. My predictions are Team SmackDown will be rounded out by former SmackDown Women's Champions Bailey and Carmella. And in this case, I fully expect Team SmackDown to win. And I will go as far as say I think... Bianca Belair will be the sole survivor. And going back to the men's, if I had to predict one sole survivor for Team Raw, I would lean towards either Braun Strowman or Keith Lee. But I think it would be pretty awesome if Strowman and Keith Lee both are sole survivors. Because I just think it's going to be one of them too as the sole survivor or both. I don't see Styles, Riddle, or Sheamus surviving. Okay, next we have a non-title match. Rawls United States Champion Bobby Lashley versus who at this time is currently the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. But just like with what happened on Raw this past Monday night, Drew McIntyre winning back the WWE Championship for Randy Orton. I can see the, the Intercontinental Championship changing hands on SmackDown tonight with someone like a Daniel Bryan or maybe even maybe even Kevin Owens winning the title and then Sami Zayn taking their place. But if this match stands as a heel versus heel, Lashley is winning this one hands down. Bobby Lashley all the way. Then we have a Another non-title champion versus champion match. This time, the Raw Tag Team Champions, the New Day, versus the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits. This one is extremely hard for me to pick because I love both teams so much. Two of my favorite tag teams. probably Actually, I'm not going to say two of my favorite. My favorite current tag teams in WWE. New Day 1, Street Profits 2. Now... I think either team, I I would be happy with either team winning. But my gut says that New Day's the more bigger team. So I'm going to give a slight edge to the New Day winning. And a possibility, you could call this bold, whatever, that maybe, just maybe, the Street Profits turn heel. We'll see. Then we have the women's champion versus champion women's match. Raw women's champion Asuka versus SmackDown women's champion Sasha Banks. 
I like both women. Two of my favorite women's wrestlers. Two great in-ring performers. A big shout out to Sasha Banks and Asuka. You're both two of my favorites. Um, I uh, leaning towards more wanting to. I am more rooting for Sasha Banks because she is probably currently my favorite women's wrestler. Like right up there with Becky Lynch and Bailey and Asuka. There's just really a lot of good women wrestlers out there. Now. If I had to go with a prediction, I'm going to have to go with Asuka, but I really think, as much as Sasha Banks has lost to Asuka this year, I really think if WWE were smart, they would have Sasha Banks win to keep her momentum going because she had an incredible match last week against Bayley in a rematch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Wow, that was a good match. So props to Bayley and Sasha Banks for putting on... Classic match. Great job to the both of you. You were awesome. Then we go to what for me will probably be the main event. It will be the new WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre, versus the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Uh, I knew McIntyre... I fully thought he would win the title on Raw because they there's no way you wanted to see Orton versus Reigns. Nobody wants to see that. No offense to Reigns and Orton. But it's just not the match people wanted to see. So I'm not surprised McIntyre won the title. Now, this is where um, this is where the thing could happen. I'm more rooting for Drew McIntyre. You know, just keep his momentum. He literally just won. And I could see a scenario where McIntyre somehow wins with some kind of distraction. But my guess is that both that Jay Uso and probably Jimmy Uso will cause a distraction that will allow Roman Reigns to pick up the victory over Drew McIntyre. And I fully expect McIntyre's next feud, maybe at title defense against Randy Orton and The Fiend at TLC. Then maybe he'll defend the title at Royal Rumble against Sheamus. I see... I don't know. This is... I can foresee that happening. And that really doesn't leave any chances for title matches. But... What? What, a bit, what if... Roman Reigns beats McIntyre? And what if... WWE wanted to pull off something that they did 10 years ago and actually have The Miz cash in to win the WWE Championship against Drew McIntyre. That could then set up a match at TLC, Tables, Ladders, Chairs. I think they should call it TLCS. Tables, Ladders, Chairs, and Stairs or something like that. That would be awesome. Then I could foresee if that happens, I could see a Fatal 4-Way match for the WWE Championship between The Miz defending against Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, and The Fiend Bray Wyatt. And, let me just say right now, if that happens, Miz will not walk out as champion. I think they're gonna, they could give him the title just to have an extremely short reign because I think John Morrison will turn on him and they will officially split up as a team. So my guess is... Roman Reigns beats Drew McIntyre, and either McIntyre walks into Raw the next night as WWE Champion, oh, sorry, or The Miz will cash in and win the title, setting up a fatal four-way at TLC where The Miz loses the title, and my guess is that probably McIntyre wins it back for the third time, but we'll see. But thank you guys for watching. That's my my predictions. Seriously, if you like the video, you don't have to. If you're into wrestling, then I think you'll like this. Um, comment down below what you think, your thoughts, your predictions. I have no issues. I would love to see what everybody has to say. And if you enjoy the channel, all the videos I do, 
um, then please subscribe to the channel. I'm only nine subscribers away from hitting the big 30 for me, which just hitting... I never thought I'd even hit 10. So for everyone that has subscribed, thank you guys so much. It means a lot. So, really, you guys are truly awesome. But this is Dark Knight Studio signing off. Catch you later.